All right, what's going on, guys? Griffin Striker here coming at you with part two of our grunt only challenge. So I did do some uh, modifications off recording. We've made our colors more dommy, which that sounds kind of odd, but either way, um, I also bought the goof package. So we now have the goof shield. I really wanted to get the goof shield. So we went ahead um, also switched from the uh, tomahawk over to the heat sword or heat saber. Um, the downside is I don't have any actions for it, I believe. Oh, no, I do. I have cross slash. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Um, I forgot you could actually change how they can move too. So if I didn't want to do hover, I could actually switch to just regular walking. Uh, but we're using Dom leg, so we're definitely going to hover. But anyway, we're pretty much all sorted to go ahead and go on to our next mission. All right, the first launch of our newly improved Gundam. Damn, it has a big butt. Big old Dom butt. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day today. I'm ready to get in here and smash some Gunpla apart with the Heat Saber. Sorry, Heat Sword. I'm gonna eventually remember that's what it's called. I personally like the swords better than the axes. Uh, some of the axes actually have some good combos. The uh, axe from the Sazabi is actually really good. That's what I actually use on my main account. I've got a uh, hybrid unicorn new Gundam thing uh, that uses the Sazabi Tomahawk or B-Max. And the anti-ship sword, which is uh, as an optional equipment, not an actual main equipment. Anyway, guys, what... I, I was kind of thinking about this yesterday when we were talking about G Gundam, but what are your guys' favorite series in Gundam? Overall, I think my favorite series is currently and still uh, Gundam Unicorn. I actually really liked Iron-Blooded Orphans, but uh, it couldn't dethrone Unicorn for multiple reasons, but one of those is uh, mm, the ending. Uh, there's a particular reason why the ending unnerves me and it's kind of the weird relationship between uh, Mikazuki and uh, Kudelia and the, the other little girl which I just recently found out that, uh, that there's no actual age out there for Mikazuki but everyone says that he's apparently 17 at the end of the show because there's like a two year time gap between the first two seasons uh, I don't know if I believe that, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but I did really like uh, Iron Blood Orphans aside from that. The mech designs were pretty fantastic. Barbados is awesome. Uh, even stuff like the Camaris is pretty cool. But overall, Unicorn is by far my favorite. Um, the Unicorn, well, I didn't mean to jack that, but uh, here we are. Getting the vehicles is actually pretty useful sometimes. Uh, primarily if you want to get parts. Because as you can see, when I hit them with the gun, they pretty much break entirely apart. So I actually, in, in things that have this, I tend to grab the vehicle just to do this. Because like we're getting camper parts. Pretty nice. But the unicorn by itself is my favorite mobile suit. My favorite Gundam, for sure. It's a really cool unit. The NTD system is really cool. The Banshee is pretty close. It's a little, um, what would you say, darker? Um, since it basically just has a giant claw arm that it can murder you with. But Banshee's pretty cool. Um, I haven't actually seen narrative. So, I know the Phoenix is a thing. Um, I've seen it in games like uh, Gundam Breaker Mobile and uh, some other material, but I've never actually seen Narrative. 
Although I will say that gold and like blue NTD is pretty freaking awesome. We got we got some got some players. So I can't remember. I think in this game when it says enemy player approaching and it's like these faceless players, not the ones that are uh, part of the story. I think these are actually builds that it takes from online. I know for a fact there's a mode, there's a bounty mode where you can actually um, fight against enemies AI controlled mobile suits. My pots? So there is actually some parts I want in this area. Uh, I think they they spawn over here. Um, the Gelgu Jaeger actually spawns, and I would love to make a mixture unit with the Gelgu. I can't use the Johnny Ridden, which is the, the deeper red one. Because while the Gelgu itself was kind of mass production, that's an A suit. Uh, the Gogu Jaeger was mass produced, so I do consider that a grunt suit, even though it's kind of a specialty suit. <laughs> Every time I look at my mobile suit from the front, it's like tiny ass gym head compared to the overgrown body of the Dom. I'm just like, this looks so weird. hoping to break some parts. Give me your parts. That's all I want from you. Looks like I got the head. Okay. We might unlock it from the shop, because it is available in the shop. Um, but I don't remember if you have to beat a level that has them as the base machines, or if there's another requirement like getting your builder rank up. I honestly feel like it would probably be more tied to Builder Rank. It's, going, it's looking like we're probably just going to get that one piece, which is okay. We got Johnny Ridden's Naginata. I would not mind the Naginata as a weapon. Fun fact, so I took uh, animation back in high school. This was unfortunately quite a while ago. Um, I graduated high school in 2011, so it's been a while, but it, it was when I was about 17. I took animation and the final thing that I made for my animation class in Maya was a beam Naginata that had like a little animation. One of the things I'm more proud of as far as like from an artistic styling, I'm not really good at art <laughs> and making things. Um, but in that program, I actually made a really good beam Naginata. I was actually very proud of it. I wish I still had the file to this day, but I do not. Oh, the gun cannon backpack would be pretty cool to have but I don't think they have the mass production version of the the gun. It has the gun tank backpack. What? <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to see. I guess the chest has the cannons on the gun cannon, not the backpack. Okay, we got a Gundam ground type arm, not bad. Hopefully in this video we can get a more solid unit. I want to get a couple of parts that we can use to uh, rebuild the unit that's probably going to be the way it stays for the most of the game.
Get off my butt. I love Gundam Alex. I don't like the uh, armored Gundam Alex. Gundam. Oh, now he broke me. I was doing my uh, cross slash, but he staggered me with that, uh, whatever it was. I wanted the ground break, but I keep hitting triangle when I'm a little bit too far away. I'm over here doing all the work, and at least he's just over here fighting these random grunt units. Oh, hey guys. Perfect lineup. Okay, well, one of you got out of the lineup. That's not cool. The only thing I don't like about Cross Slash is it doesn't follow your target. So if they move even a little bit, you just completely miss. I think I'm going to do this more like a stereotypical let's play in this video. I think I'm going to do less super cuts than I did in the first video. I'm still not going to upload just the VOD in its entirety. Uh, I definitely don't think you guys want to hear me in deep concentration as I smack things in the face. But um, I will try to keep as much of the content there as I can while also keeping the, the entertainment factor. Yeah, my old favorite, going going back to the, the previous topic we were talking about, my old favorite was the original Gundam. Um, I actually watched it when I was a kid. I got the entire box set off eBay for the DVDs. And uh, when I say kid, I was more like teenager. I think it was like 12 or 13. And I absolutely fell in love with it. Like, I knew of Gundam a little bit from the games. Like, I played, uh, I think, Journey to Jaburo before I actually got into Gundam. And uh, after that, actually, no, I think I played Battle Assault first. I think one of my friends had Battle Assault on the PS1, and that was one of my first introductions to Gundam. But then once I watched, ooh, high mobility type head, interesting. But once I actually got in and watched the, the original Gundam, I fell in love with it. Fell in love with the series as a whole, fell in love with Gundam. Uh, Grandpa was my, or RX-78-2 for people who don't call him Grandpa. <laughs> uh, but Grandpa Gundam was my favorite Gundam pretty much until Unicorn came out. If I had to pick a favorite non-Gundam mobile suit, um, hmm. I'd honestly probably have to say would I say the Dom? There's a lot of really good grunt suits throughout the uh, entire series. My head! Give me back my head! That one has the... I think the... Gundam ground type backpack? I thought it took off the legs for a second. I did not. I'm also trying to think, like, what would be my favorite overall grunt suit? Um, I've always really liked... I've always really liked like the Garadoga. I think that's a really cool grunt suit. But 
I have a bias towards one year war era. That's a level four beam saber. A level three heat hawk. Uh, if only that wasn't an ace unit's beam naginata, I would love to use that. Um, ooh, Zaku 2FZ. I actually might switch to that versus the Zaku machine gun, normal. Uh, we'll take, not that, that's not what I want. What is the acquire button square? We'll take that. We'll take the gun cannon head, the Gogu Jaeger head. I forget. Is the high lock considered mass production? I don't remember. Camphor's not. Man, we got a lot of stuff this mission to go through. The gun tank is technically not mass production. There is a mass production gun tank. Oh, we got the gym command shield. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll sell the rest, right? Oh, we'll get that he hawk. Yeah. Okay, now we'll sell the rest. Yeah, if I stuck with, with what my biases kind of tell me I should do, uh, which is one year war, it would definitely be the Dom. Um, Zeonic Front in particular made me love the Dom. I mean, it made me love a lot of Zeon suits as a whole. Uh, but I really love the Dom. The Dom Tropin in particular um, that you get towards the end of the game, I really love, even though it's technically kind of not a one year war suit. That gives me blade antenna. What does a blade antenna do? How do I... There's a way... Is it this? Yeah, so that the blade antenna is what gives you the extended awakening duration. Uh, actually, that's saying that I lose it. Alright, so we're going to go to the Gelgu Jaeger head. Because that is one thing we kind of have to keep an idea of, that some of these are not going to be... They're not going to give extra benefits. And we want as many abilities as we can get. So like we're probably going to keep the Dom legs just because they give you speed. None of the backpacks give you anything. Do I want to do the gym command shield? I mean the gym command shield is actually pretty cool. Let's do it. And then we can do the FZ. Yeah. I think we'll probably just keep the Dom painting scheme, which is the massive purple. Yeah. Once we get a more like concrete model that I want to keep, I'll worry about actually making the colors myself and giving it its own kind of color scheme. But for right now, looking pretty spiffy. I do want to look to see if I unlocked the Galgo Jaeger. We do not. We don't have anything new, actually. So one of the ways I'm seeing uh, if it's technically mass production, a lot of the Gunpla art will tell you. So anything that says prototype or first production are technically not, but a lot of them will say mass productive or mass, pro uh, mass production on the box. Uh, so for instance... Actually, I don't think I have it on this. I don't. I, I looked at it on my other account. Um, on the Gogu Jaeger, it says mass production. Like this says Neo ZM mass produced underneath the uh, Garadoga there. Which, honestly, Garadoga, I might buy this. I Honestly, yeah, I think I'm going to buy this. And then I also think... I think I'm going to buy the Earth Federation's Ace uniform. Okay, so we got the beam sword, axe, the beam machine gun. Int um, do I want to switch to beam? And then the Garadoga parts. Uh, let's see, this gives movable frame.
I really wish that you didn't have to wait for the abilities to cycle to show you what they do. They might not do it on this screen. Nope, I don't think they do. So the arms actually give you spike armor and movable frame. Okay. We may be doing one more little customization. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we now have the Garadoga arms on our unit. And honestly, the color scheme changed those to red, and I'm digging the shit out of it. Okay. So now we're on to, I believe this is the last mission. Technically, in, in the first uh, chapter. But let's go. Our unit looks so good now. Look at that. I would be terrified to see this grunt unit coming at me. Doesn't look like a grunt unit at all. You're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> this is no Zaku, boy. No Zaku. I got another heat saber. I highly doubt it's stronger than the one I have, but... If it is, we might switch to it. The Gion is a very interesting mobile suit. Um, if I remember correctly, I haven't seen the movies, the, the retellings of... Uh, well, it's not really a retelling. It's uh, basically shortening down the, the show and then changing some things, especially in the third movie. There's a lot of new animation in the third movie, but... Um, if I remember correctly, in the movies, they completely nix uh, Amuro going to Texas Colony and fighting McQuive. So you don't even see the Gion in the uh, movies at all. Which is not terrible. They also, like, a lot of media nix the whole thing where Amuro goes AWOL uh, before the whole Romba Roll situation. Is it before? Might be after. Um, he goes AWOL and, like, tries to prove his worth to Bright and uh, goes to a Xeon base that's controlled by McQuive. And McQuive has the, um, was it the Adzom? Adzom, I think is what it's called. And Amro nearly gets his shit kicked in by it. Hello. Oh, dang. Okay, they're kicking my ass. Hold up. <laughs> I actually didn't realize how low I was getting on health. They're actually doing some damage. We haven't really had to worry about damage so far, but we're getting to the point where things are actually overwhelming us and doing damage. Okay. We're good. Also, a lot more things are blocking now. But they, they cut a lot of stuff like that out of uh, pretty much a lot of media that retells the One Year War. Which is fine. I mean, they don't really add a whole lot to the plot, to be honest. I remember playing uh, Earth Federation versus Zeon, and you get to do the Texas Colony bit as one of the missions. And basically in that game, since you're considered a grunt, you're just like a random soldier in either military, any ace unit that you go up against, uh, you can technically take them out. They'll just retreat. But uh, if they so much as sneeze at you, you just explode. <laughs> and uh, you actually, on both sides, get to do that fight. Um, and it's kind of terrifying being a, playing a Zeon and having Amro fight McQuive, and if he so much as decides to sneeze at you, you just die. Freaking beam rifle. One thing I, I love with, like, series, one of my 
main things that I do a lot of when I love a series is I play pretty much every game I can for that series. I was really happy during the PS2 era, era when we had quite a few games coming out for Gundam. Like there were a lot that I either rented or bought. But unfortunately that era ended. Although hopefully with all the games coming out in the West now, if they do well, Bandai might continue trying to push Gundam content over to us. And I am all for that, especially if Evolution does well, and I think it is. I think Evolution will appeal more to the masses than pretty much any other version of Gundam game that we could have gotten. And I think that's a really good thing. Because of a couple reasons. One, if it, it does become popular, that's a lot of people that either knew about Gundam but didn't really care. That might be fans. Um, or people that uh, were not fans of Gundam because anime, because there's a lot of people like that, that might be like, ooh, this mech thing is pretty cool. There we go. It's like, do the ground break, please. But all in all, I'm glad we're eating, entering kind of like a golden age of uh, Gundam games again. I will definitely be playing SC Gundam Alliance. Uh, me and a buddy are actually planning to co-op it. If you want to see that playthrough, I'll probably upload it onto YouTube, but I'll also be live streaming it over on Twitch. Which, if you're not familiar, I do live stream over on Twitch. Um, and the link to that is always in the description of the videos, uh, or you just go to twitch.tv slash griffinstriker. Um, I don't do as much Gundam over there. Um, I do occasionally do like GBO. Uh, I'm planning on starting MS Saga, which is another Gundam game that I never got the chance to play on PS2. Uh, I'm actually going to play it. Um, so that should be really interesting. That's going to be uploaded uh, in an edited form of this live stream onto the YouTube as well. So you'll be getting doses of uh, this and MS Saga coming soon. And let me know in the comments down below if you'd rather have the uh, full, mostly unedited VOD or more of like a super cut. I feel like MS Saga might be one that would be better supported or, or better told using a, a uh, non super cut, just basically putting it up there flat. But I know some people like the shorter form content rather than having, you know, two to three. Well, technically in this case, four, because that's how long I stream. Uh, four hours of video that they have to sit through. I'm not one of those people. I tend to watch hour plus videos on the regular because that's what I do with my life. Don't try to punch. What are you doing, Dom? You have a, a freaking heat saber on your back. Just use it. I want the... I think I'm, I might want to switch to the Dom backpack, honestly. But I think the Dom backpack has the heat saber. I don't know, though. I could just get the heat saber as a weapon instead of trying to use it as an optional weapon. Misa, can you take out, like, one unit? <laughs> right now, you're just here to distract things for me. It's the campers. The camper brothers. Ow, my backpack. Bastard. Cube smash dagger? I don't remember that. There's going to be a lot of mechanics that I don't remember. Um, also off camera, I unlock the ability to actually improve parts. So all those low quality plastics that we're, we've been getting, those are actually used to level up the parts that you have. Was that the bazooka for the Galgoog? Is that what that said? If so, hell yeah. I might switch to bazooka.
I don't think I've used a bazooka type in this game, honestly. Oh, I got a green uh, goof shield. Well, sorry, Jim Command Shield. You lasted for a mission. But you're definitely getting swapped after this one. There's again behind me. No. I believe it's after this mission, or pretty soon, we get the Awakening Gauge, which is going to be a nice addition. It's essentially your, I'm going into overpowered mode. All right, here we go. Boss battle town, baby. Uh, was that Gundam Mark II? I think those are Gundam Mark IIs. Yeah, they definitely are. I mean, they're, I think they're mixed with something else. Maybe Super Gun? No, definitely not Super Gun. They might just be pure Mark IIs. Yeah, AU backpack. Okay. There we go. Dispatched. All right, so what we get? We got a new skill. Got some EX actions for sword tackle and ground shaker. Uh, piercing slash. We got a lot of beam sabers, heat sabers. Um, I'll probably just take one of these. Ah, uh, I was hoping the beam naginata was not specific to shars, but it is. Rip. I really actually wanted that. That's Garma's Zaku. I yeah, I guess those words are Garma's Zaku, weren't they? They were brown. Uh, Gem Sniper 2 Sniper. Oh, it was not a Gelgu. Uh, rocket. It was Gabe Olg. That's what I saw. Um, I guess we'll take the sniper. We don't need the regular gym head. Do we want the Zaku 2 chest? I guess. Take one of them. I'm mainly looking for things that have, like, abilities, because that's going to be... Oh, we got the Gelgu J backpack. Hell yeah. I don't know what unit had that. It had to be one of the player ones. And there's uh, my green goof shield. Sorry for anyone that wants to see the story. The, tr the story's not um, fantastic. It's very, if you've seen Gundam Build Fighters, it's very much like that kind of story. So if you're interested in that, more power to you. Um, it's not a terrible story by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not one that I care to watch again. All right, so we're going to put the Goose Shield back on. Which, because it's green, we also got an additional physical guard buff. So that is super nice. Oh, right, because you can use the... I was like, wait, what? But yeah, it's because you use the arm shield. 
It's actually not bad. 50% for both guards. Um, dang, actually, that's crazy. But I do want an actual shield. I like I like the the look of a mobile suit with a shield. So we have piercing slash now. Uh, Envelops energy and clears all in its path while rushing. Attacks all enemies in a straight line, and we're invincible during the rush. Do I want to get rid of? I think we get rid of bullet force, right? I don't know. Having that ability to just like have it sit there and shoot for me is actually pretty nice. So I think I'm going to get rid of Diffuse Bullet. No new optional and we're not changing anything there. OK, so we just need to repaint. OK. Double check, make sure we didn't unlock anything in the shop, and then I think we're done with chapter one. Hello? Shop? Uh, what? I think it broke. I really think it broke, everybody. Rip. I mean, the good thing is this game saves like crazy, so we won't lose any progress. Uh, but I guess that's a good as any, time as any. Oh, there it is. Okay. No, nothing new in the shop. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to call it for this episode of uh, Gundam Breaker 3 Grunt Only Edition. I hope you guys have enjoyed the journey so far we're just getting into chapter two so this is kind of where things are going to start getting a little spicy uh, we're definitely going to have to keep our upgrades pretty current or we're going to start getting smacked and dangled around it's going to be real nasty but if you guys like the video please leave a like let me know in the comments down below um, the question from earlier what's your favorite gundam series as well as uh, if you have any suggestions for maybe some mobile suit parts that you want to see put in the build but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.